if you tell me his name, I have to report him. His, his name, name is... Planning her escape route. It's staying light on her feet. His name is walking fast. It's blocking her path. It's lingering in back streets. His, his name, name is... Hair tucked in. It's crossing the road. It's taking a fake call. His name is pulling over. Asking her for directions instead of the man ahead who's built and six foot two inches tall. His name is following her around the store. It's brushing past. It's touching the small of her back. His name is staring at her. It's waiting for her. It's look at the rack on that. Listen, Listen lads. We have to do better. And let our friends know that it won't be accepted. To catcall. And quarter wall. Commenting audible. Yelling at women and making them uncomfortable. You're not entitled to a retention. And yet you become offended when you don't get it. Getting aggressive. Advances rejected. She, she owes, owes you nothing. nothing. What, what were you, you expecting? expecting? His name is 999 already dialed. It's stripping her of independence. His name is keys in between her knuckles. His name is a never ending presence. She's afraid of unknown men. What did you expect? When we are a society that treats women like they're objects. Ingrained misogyny, painful and abusive. We're either part of the problem or we're choosing solutions. His name is hiding in the crowd. Behind buildings, bins and cars. His name is pressed up against her. It's using code words at the bar. You're not a factor in how she got dressed. No, no clothes or invitation to harassment. And no. no is not an indication to try harder. It's a straight up rejection of sexual advances. His name is avoiding public transport. It's leaving the night out before it's done. His name is dictating her skirt is too short. It's a change of shoes that make it easier to run. No, no woman should worry when walking alone, whether the footsteps she's hearing or following her home. Quickening a pace and a pulse it is racing. A regular rhythm is beating on a pavement. His name is texting when she gets home. It's walking clear of alleyways and ditches. His name is catcalling and dog whistles, but we're not pussies and we're not bitches. Listen, Listen lads, we have to do better. And let our friends know that it won't be accepted. To catcall and quarter wall. Commenting audible. Yelling at women. And making them uncomfortable. Because, because boys, boys will be boys, boys it is not an excuse. Your choice is your choice, no one made it for you. Boys, boys will be boys, boys it is not an excuse. excuse. Your voice is your voice, up to you what you do. If you tell me his name, I have to report him. His name is... Fear. It's judgment. It's a man phoning from victim support. His name is men have torn me down and I'm supposed to let them build me back up. His name. He's taking me to court. His name. He's behind closed doors. His name. His loud noise. His name. His sudden movements. His name. He's driving too fast. It's never in the past. His name is yes. Yes, but can I prove it? She's afraid of unknown men. What did you expect when we are a society that treats women like they're objects? Ingrained misogyny, painful and abusive. You're either part of the problem or you're choosing solutions. Because boys might be boys while we're figuring the world out. But then you grow to men and men are held to account. If you tell me his name, I, I have to report him. His name is in safe hands. Her name. Is never gonna feel safe again. Her name. Is affected. Her name. Is disconnected. Her name. Is neglected. Her name. Is disrespected. His name. Is gonna haunt her. His name. Is gonna take her life. His, His name, name is. is protected. Hello, my name is Jemima Hughes. I'm a performance poet from Birmingham and I speak about sexual violence trauma and mental health slash mental illness. I went through trauma myself when I was 16 years old and consequently had a mental breakdown around nine or 10 years on. 
And so now I speak openly on those subjects in the hope of encouraging conversation and creating a relatable outlet for everybody. I'm James Scott Howes, I'm a performance poet from Leicester. Um, I speak on um, mental health as well, but I've generally come from the perspective of being a bit of an outsider, a bit of a weirdo. Um, and my journey into it uh, came when in 2018 I had a complete and total breakdown in my mental health and took a long time to recover from that. And the whole time that I was going through that journey, I decided that something positive had to come out of it. And when I came through to the other side, I decided that I wanted to uh, relay those experiences Again, like Jemima, with the hope of reaching someone who's going through that and helping them to realise that they're not alone and other people are having those experiences. So this collaboration piece came about, um, it's actually two separate pieces, one from me and one from James. So my, my piece is called His Name Is, and it was a piece that I started writing when it was actually around the time of the murder of Sarah Everard and there was a lot of things in the media going around about the way women are treated on the streets and just in everyday life and that's where my original poem came from was just trying to document all of these things that we experience just on a day-to-day -day basis that people probably don't bat an eyelid unless they're on the receiving end of it. Um, but it's really important to realise how inappropriate and unnecessary these things are and also how quickly these things escalate to be such a, such a more serious scenario than just a wolf, a wolf whistle or a cat call. So that's where mine came from and also from a personal perspective, um, going through trauma when I was younger, sexual violence trauma, um, domestic abuse and violence, but also then going through um, other situations throughout my life where men have acted inappropriately towards me and wanting to put that out there and be as honest and raw as possible about these situations and how it feels to be on the receiving end of that um, and first-hand experience of that and what consequences that has on your life going forward because rape isn't just one traumatic event it's a series of traumatic events from that moment onwards and it's important to understand how massively that impacts life. So my half of the poem is called Listen Lads um, and basically I spent a lot of time working in pubs and just going out and being around guys and um, slowly over time I became increasingly aware of the way that we would refer to women or talk to women or talk about women um, and there was a bit of a light bulb moment, I guess, where I just realised one day that I'd been around people who were saying and doing awful things and I'd never called them out for it. Um, it was something that I never did personally, although in retrospect, you know, there were occasions where I should have behaved better. Like, and once I'd started um, performing, uh, performing my poetry I realised that even on a very small scale I had a platform and if I was able to just get out there and from a male perspective say we need to stop doing this this isn't a women's issue this is a men's issue mm -hmm. it's not the woman's responsibility to stop us talking and acting in this way we have to stop it and so that's where it came from from my perspective and it was just sort of like attempting to take a little bit of responsibility and make amends for the fact that in the past I haven't confronted people who've been doing and saying things that I knew were wrong. Mm -hmm. And then seeing James perform his piece, Listen Lads, at an event that I was also at, I realised um, he was doing the same thing I was doing but from a male perspective and James very quickly realised that I was doing what he was doing from a female perspective and approached me that, that night and said that we should collaborate and we just knew that these pieces would go perfectly together and that's where we came up with Listen to His Name. There was quite a few moments of real accidental crossover oh, where gotcha. we were talking about the same, the exact same exact subject. Same thing. We both had a line in each of our pieces saying keys in between his knuckles 
Um, we literally had the same lines, but we were we mm. didn't know that each other were writing these pieces. Um, so it was just the perfect collaboration. Thank you.